Hey everybody, it is Mr. Bellamy and we are working on some hockey skills this week. Uh, I've done a video on how to hold your hockey stick and some things and so today's game is going to be just a little bit of practice uh, on that. So the game's called Who Took the Cookie from the Cookie Jar? I found this on the interwebs along with many other different types of games. Uh, it's one that uh, I practice in here and we've been playing it with uh, our kits. So what we do is we set up the gym. I put all my hockey pucks and since I don't have a ton of hockey pucks, this is Kansas. Hockey is not the most famous sport here. <clears throat> we uh, have some regular hockey pucks that we're going to use. Put in the middle of the gym. I have some rubber bigger hockey pucks that slide across the floor pretty good. I have these half ball pucks that we use. I have some filled hockey balls that'll be out there. I have some snowballs out there and then one of the favorite things that we have is um, I have a few air hockey um, balls or hover balls that we use. Um, those are not good for shooting but it's great for working with handling. So how do I play who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Let's get into it. Um, first thanks to Kramer um, who uh, Kramer Sports in Gardner, Kansas. They uh, provided our dish school district, uh, they allowed the school district with um, a bunch of free uh, hockey sticks. So I uh, appreciate that. That allows me to get to play uh, these types of games with the kids. So in this game, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a spot in line, like the mat way over there could be one of the people's groups. I have a mat right over here, kind of over by me, that would be my section to uh, bring my uh, hockey pucks to. Um, usually I play music, or you can set a timer, and the kids go one at a time, or they go, <clears throat> they all have their own spot, so it's like nobody's, I don't have them work with, in teams. <clears throat> and the kids have to run, or run, they have to skate out with their sticks. Now we talk about keeping our blades down uh, on our thing so they're not skating with it up here. So let the music started. Da -da 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 -da. Kids would come, bring a puck, bring it back to their starting spot. And I'm just gonna have my line right here. So I'm just gonna to you. We'll come and get another one. And they just practice bringing it back. You can't steal one from somebody uh, who has it, who's touching it with their stick. But if I leave my spot, then somebody can come and steal one of mine while I'm not with it. If my stick is touching it, so here I have two items. Let me see if I can get it back here for you. So here I have two items. And if somebody came around to my area, if I have my stick touching them, they can't steal it. So as long as my stick's touching it, or I'm touching it with my skate. Because once all the cookies are stole out of the uh, cookie jar, or the middle of the gym, then everyone's going to be going around and trying to find a place to uh, put it. Now, some kids have found that it works best to find a spot, like I have my skate racks. The skate racks over there. Um, Kids have found that if they can put their puck underneath the skate rack, um, it's harder for somebody to steal. So it's a great strategy part of the game. They can look around, they can set different things up to help them in that area. It's, everybody has to have theirs on the outside of the black line. So that's how we play the game. If you have something different, leave it in the comments. Hope you have fun, enjoy, get out and play.